Context part two, types of context. Now that we know what context is, what are the types of context that you can find in the natural world as you're finding pieces of the past? There's really two types. You have primary context and you have secondary context. What is primary context? Primary context is you found it where they left it. Meaning, if you think back to when I talked about, oh, I shot an arrow at a duck a thousand years ago and I missed and the arrow just landed on the ground. If a thousand years later, I find that arrowhead in the exact same spot where it dropped, primary context. There's a, there's a definition from uh, ancient archaeology textbooks. If you looked up an archaeology textbook from like 1936, it's going to say this. Context is point of last discard. Point of last discard. I love that definition because that is actually what it is at its base. Primary context is point of last discard. What that means is it's when we as human beings let it go. We discarded it, we didn't look for it, or we didn't find it, and it's entering the archaeological record. Primary context, right? Okay. Now, secondary context. Yeah, and I'm guessing you're going to get this one. Secondary context, it was moved. So, I shoot the arrow, miss the duck, into the bushes. I don't find my arrow. Now, 200 years later, a kid picks it up and plays with it for an afternoon. And he leaves it 50 feet down from where it was. 100 years after that, there's a flood and there's a mudslide. And that arrowhead has tumbled down another 500 feet down the way. And now, I find it 1,000 years later, way down there secondary context. It's been moved since point of last discard. Now, common questions on this. We as archaeologists, what do we, what do, we do about this context thing? I would say that we, we, uh, we are innocent until proven guilty, meaning that we go with primary context when we're finding something, unless we can really pretty obviously tell that it's been moved. It's just, it makes your life easier. You just kind of go with, oh, this, this seems like where they left it. Like if you're working at a burial or something like that, chances are that that was a original burial. They meant to bury the person that there and, and you're good. Um, it gets harder though. You gotta think about this context thing. So, oh, sometimes secondary context is obvious though. If you have a bundle of 10 femurs, 10 human leg bones, like in a, wrapped up in a bow like this and you find that, that is not primary context right? Ten people didn't put their legs together and kill themselves. That would be very uncomfortable. They didn't do that. It's impossible, right? It's physically impossible to get like a, a bundle of ten human femurs. That's gonna be secondary context. That's gonna be taken out of a burial and then moved over here and redeposited, that kind of thing. Secondary context. Now, thought question for y'all. Let's say that after you watch this, the phone rings and it's your mom and she's like I'm sorry honey I have some really bad news um, grandma died this afternoon you know she was she was at home she was on her couch and she was watching her favorite TV show and she had a massive heart attack and died there the paramedics came they tried to resuscitate her didn't work I'm sorry honey but but grandma's gone and you're sad about that but you make uh, plans for, for what's going to happen the next couple days. Now, the uh, funeral home is going to come to Grandma's house. They're going to take Grandma off her couch. They're going to put her in the funeral home van. They're going to take her to the funeral home. They're going to like uh, clean her all up. It's an open casket funeral. You, uh, you then move her over to the church at the open casket funeral. And then finally, a couple days later, you move Grandma finally to the cemetery where you dig a hole and you have your rituals and you bury grandma and she's in the cemetery. Now, is grandma in primary or secondary context? Primary or secondary? Primary! Point of last discard. 
we as human beings weren't done with her yet. Oh yeah, she had a heart attack in her house on her couch. But we weren't done with her. We still had to do our death rituals and stuff. So we finally discarded grandma at the cemetery. Primary context, right? There you go. Point of last discard. Now, 10 years later, you realize that maybe grandma was poisoned because grandpa was kind of a bad guy. So you're gonna go and you're gonna exhume the body and you're gonna test it for poison. Now, you've dug up the body 10 years later and even if you put it back in in the same spot, secondary context. You've messed with it after point of last discard. That's it, right? Pretty, pretty simple, pretty simple. One last thing on all this stuff. You'll see the term taphonomy. And you're like, what's taphonomy? Taphonomy is the processes that happen to an artifact or a person um, after point of last discard, right? Between when ancient humans threw it out and when modern humans found it. Taphonomy are the various things that could happen to that object or dead person uh, in the intervening time. So what could happen? What could happen to this person or artifact? What, what's going to interact with it? The environment's going to interact with it. It's going to rain on that, on that object. Like, let's, let's say just after I do this, I'm all happy with my YouTube channel. I walk outside and walk into my car, massive heart attack and die. And nobody cares. And I just, I happen to have a heart attack in the bushes and life went on. Somebody else kept up with this YouTube channel. And they just kept the name for business purposes. Damn them. So I'm just there in the bushes. What's happening to my body? So it's, it's uh, decomposing. That's part of taphonomy. You have these various creatures that are starting to eat it and it's starting to break down. I'm out in the weather. The sun's on me. The rain's on me, right? Animals. This is a bigger problem than you think. Uh, animals of night. Coyote comes, rips off my arm, takes it back to its lair. Right? That's all taphonomic processes that are happening to me. It's really wet. Winter, a couple winters later, mudslide, I slide down to the lower parking lot. That's all taphonomic processes that are happening on me. And now in the future, I may actually be preserved for archaeologists to find a thousand years later, or I might wither away to nothing.